Hi guys. Hey, I am tearing apart the center diff on my uh, Viterra um, Ascender Suburban. And I've got everything else tore apart, so I figured I might just as well turn into this and see what kind of shape it's in. And uh, hopefully everything will be good there. Um, <clears throat> definitely a fun uh, little tear into kind of thing. <laughs> haven't, uh, haven't had a crawler apart before, so this ought to be interesting. Um, I guess I did the front uh, drive axle, the rear drive axle. Oh crap. And uh, yeah, it's all been good so far. What I'm doing with this, the same identical thing I did with the other stuff. Turn all the bearings out and looking at all of them. It's a spacer, that's okay. Uh, then just going ahead and greasing up all the bearings and doing all that so I can have confidence when I take it out running that I'm not going to have a problem with it. Um, definitely, uh, definitely a fun vehicle. I just wish to heck that stupid Horizon Hobby would have never killed it off because, um, uh, that's what Horizon Hobby does. <clears throat> Unfortunately, they done it with Park Zone, which was an RC airplane company that was fantastic, and killed those off. You can't get parts, can't get nothing for those anymore. And this is no different. And it's sad because Viterra, they're just a hell of a lot of fun. <clears throat> Like I said, I've had more fun with this Viterra um, than I think I've had with my other two crawlers combined. Um, which, nothing against them. I love my Red Cat Gen 8. Um, I love my uh, Axial, uh, the 55 Ford. I think it's an SCX 10, so I don't know, something like that. Um, yeah, it's a great truck. I, I really like that one too, but there's just something about this Viterra Suburban that just is a hell of a lot of fun. I like the look of it. Just everything. Everything involved. Got a smaller driver here. <clears throat> I tell you what, speaking of drivers, these things, the, uh, Horizon Hobby Dynamite um, Hex Set, they're a must. I get tired of stripping out um, hex wrenches all the time that, you know, come with the uh, cars. Tired of it. Bought a set of these, and I have not stripped anything out since. Haven't stripped out bolt heads like I used to. Haven't stripped out nothing. So these are definitely the way to go. <clears throat> Trying to get this case opened up and see what I got going on in here. And going out camp the campgrounds tonight, but I want to try to get this done and see if I can get it where I can maybe take it with me. Do a little running around down the campground. Who knows? Okay, I think that is all the bolts. Crack this baby open. Let's see what we got. A whole lot of plastic gears, it looks like. Wow. Really don't know what the hell it is at all. Like dusty, crappy, almost like it's losing a gear. I don't know what the hell that stuff is. Oh, well, tear it down and tear everything out and see what we got. So I guess we're not going to take it tonight. 
which is okay. Take this bearing off. That's where I think my problem is right there. It almost looks like it bearings, or not bearing, but the uh, gear. Well, no, it doesn't look bad either, really. That looks good. God, I don't know. These things, you just never know. But what I'll do, I'll tear it all apart and then uh, clean it all out. It just got like this, like a film, like a real light powder. It's, it's really what it's like. It's almost like a, like a graphite powder or something. Um, huh. Interesting. But it's not dirt. But my gears look okay. So, like what I'll do, I'll just put it together there again. I was going to put um, the uh, marine grease inside it anyway. So, um, yeah, that's what I'll do. I will just tear that apart and go from there. Got one bearing here that is not a sealed bearing. So that one, I'm going to have to use my other stuff on. I've got a concoction. It's not really a concoction. It's just an AMS oil, uh, bearing oil, and uh, use that. Um, what I'm going to do, the first one... First bearing I'm going to rebuild is this uh, side here because of the fact it has a shim and so I don't get those screwed up where the shim goes or anything like that. I'll just build that side first and then put the shim right back and I'm good. Now if I can get the bearing out there it is. Bearing looks good. Man, that's that's weird. It's almost like a like a powder, like a graphite or something in there. I don't know if that's maybe what they what they put in there or not. I don't know, but um, hmm. don't know. All right, well, we'll find out. Oh, I busted the busted the tip of my exacto knife so now i gotta use a razor blade which that's absolutely fine oh yeah i just want to get this get all three of my crawlers done i want to get this one done especially um but I want to get all three of them done. Um, I've only got three, and that's all I need. I don't need more than three. Will I get more than three? Oh, probably. But do I need more than three? Nah, not really. But do we all need, do we, you know, any of us need all the RC cars we have? <laughs> I mean, God, I've got, oh, slews. Wow. All right. Packing this down with a toothpick and marine grease. Um, like I'd done in the other video where I was doing the front. See, I've got that all packed real good. I'll flip it over. And there's, there's nothing in this. It, it, it was absolutely dry. So then I'll take the grease off the uh, toothpick and start packing that in start moving it down in there get it to seal up real good all the little nooks and crannies I'm gonna drop it it's trying to fall out of my fingers
cool. That one is done. So then, we'll very carefully take the aluminum side. There's like a little bit of a ring. I don't know how well you can see it. There's a little, you can see in there there's metal on one side, and then the other side's completely just black or blue rubber. Um, can't see it that well, but anyway, um, I will set that like so. Do the same thing with this side if I can pick it up set that on the other side and then just take your fingers and push both ends together push them together make sure that they're seated all the way around and there you go bearings done so but I am going to pop up these other two bearings and take this outside and blow everything off, get all this graphite -y crap out of here. Um, I guess I can't I can't describe what it is. It's 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 literally like dust. Don't do what I just did. Don't blow it out close to your mouth because uh, don't taste good. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go for now. I will uh, get back to you on the reassembly of this. And um, like I said, if uh, you guys have got one of these, if you ever tore it down, I'm kind of curious if you guys have had the uh, same little experience I just did. Because I don't know what that dusty stuff is, but I don't know. Crazy. But anyway, guys, if this is your first time uh, checking out my channel, uh, welcome. I'm glad you found it. Um, I do all kinds of RC stuff, model kits, plastic model kits, uh, RC airplanes, wheel airplanes, wheel race cars, you name it. If it's cool, I'm trying to be involved. So... But anyway, guys, uh, like I said, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, share. And uh, you guys definitely stay tuned for more stuff to come. Um, hopefully, I'll have this thing done by the end of the day, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day, and be safe.